Sanremo, La Primavera is the longest one-day race on the World Tour. And yet in recent times, a race of around 300 kilometers has brought us incredible drama in the final few meters. Oh, surely he can't do it, can he? Sagan's going to be beaten. It's Kwiatkowski who's going to do it. Alaphilippe, Van Aert, side by side, and crossing the line together. Van Aert with his arms in the air. Last year, despite some of the fastest finishes in the world breathing down his neck, it was Jasper Sturven who had his arms in the air. It does uh, still give me some, some good uh, emotions, let's say. Um, it's, I, it's nice to see it happening and it's nice to notice with myself that it still gives me like goosebumps and uh, yeah, the emotions. <laughs> I knew already in the downhill that, that that was the chance that I should look for. But I also realized that quite fast when we reached the top of the Poggio that was not only Caleb but also Wout, uh, Mathieu, like all looking to each other. So I, I just had to grab that opportunity um, to be a bit of the outsider there. Well, Jasper Sturven is gonna go. Jasper Sturven is gonna go. Remember, he's won semi-classics before. This is his tilt at a monument. When I went and I did see that I had the gap with no one in the wheel, I just knew like it's gonna be it's gonna be this or it's gonna be last of the group. But yeah, that's the game you play, and uh, it worked out. When uh, Cern uh, Kraal came to me, I didn't know if he was gonna attack me, really sit on and gamble as well. Uh, I, I didn't know his game plan. And Sturven is trying to get ready for the final sprint. Sits on the wheel of Sir Hukal de Dane. When he, when he kept going, I didn't know, like, is he going to ask me to pull again? What do I do in that situation? Because they're really close behind. Um, so a lot of ifs. Uh, so no, I was not really sure. Sturven comes out. Sturven's going to the line. Jasper Sturven's going to the line. Jasper Sturven wins Milano Sanremo. To be honest, I felt nothing. It's like it's, you're alone in the world. It's, it's strange, but also at the same time, a really enjoyable feeling. I think the closest to describe it is pure happiness with nothing else in your mind. I think that comes closest to what it felt like, I would say. They say lightning never strikes twice. Steven's win just three years after a similarly dramatic bond for Vincenzo Nibali suggests otherwise. It couldn't happen again, could it? Attack earlier, attack later, we will see. Uh, but the race always needs to be uh, raced. And uh, how many guys will we be at the top of Poggio? Um, who will be the favorites prior going into the race? It's all, uh, it's all questions uh, we don't know yet. Um, and maybe the biggest surprise is that I attack at the, exactly the same point. We never know. Surprising the best in the world for a second time isn't Stoven's only target for the year, though. The opening week of the Tour, with its crosswinds, cobbles and overall classics feel, presents him with more opportunities to grab a stage win. Uh, I think uh, I'll be doing uh, the Tour again with the cobbles. Um, I think it's a good chance to try and finally get that, that Tour stage uh, victory. Um, so I'm, I'm motivated to, to try it again, <laughs> even after all the disappointment. I do study it quite a bit uh, going into the Tour, um, because you try to find the, the, the good stages and the opportunities, especially for the rider that I am, there's not that many. So you, you, you look for them. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll spend some time going through the roadbook. <laughs>